Hello and welcome. I'm Uncle Badger and I bid you a good health and I, today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite Oracle decks. It's Earth Magic by Stephen D. Farmer. There we are. Try and get it so the light doesn't bounce off the cover too much. Uh, it's a 48 card deck and it comes with a booklet. This is one of, one of my favourites. Uh, yeah, it's a, I don't think it's necessarily in order, but uh, there we go. Well, first I will show you the book. There we are. Yeah, and the, for those that don't know, the difference between an oracle and a tarot deck is that an oracle will have... Uh, the system is almost exclusive to that deck. Uh, yeah, <laughs> It'll, it could very well be utterly different to a tarot deck and the cards would have completely different meanings. You'd still be able to do a, a similar sort of spread, but uh, all the cards will have different meanings to those assigned to a tarot deck. Uh, they won't necessarily be split up into suits. Some of them do, but I know a number of them don't, but anyway, this is the little book. It's good and sturdy. It's that thick, about as little thinner than my index finger, and uh, you get a good, get a few spread suggestions. We get onto the cards. And you get a, about, what was it, two pages there, goes on to a third. And on this one, try and get a grip, there we are, about three pages. Or goes on to three pages, slightly under that in text. But, you have a good little booklet with that, explaining how to use, how to use those cards. And here we go. I'm not sure these are particularly in order, but yeah, I've I've used this quite recently. It's one of my favourite decks. Um, personally, I found it quite a sort of a universal sort of deck. Uh, I found for, for me, my personal tastes, I found it good for a general purpose sort of thing. Uh, sort of like a, the, the being a ubiquity to... If it was like a ubiquitous sort of thing, you can quite quickly just grab it and, you know, use it for most eventualities. I don't know, I just find it quite a comforting deck. But there we go, I'll show you the back. And it's sort of a bit of an above, say, below. Some of the metaphors with the tree are above, say, below. And you can reverse it, and it's similar. There we are. Yeah, I do rather like this deck. There's a lot of meta some Celtic metaphor with... Uh, the above, so below, being with trees and with water as well. Uh, yeah, it uh, can be applied to water and trees as well, if you go into the Celtic traditions. But, here we go, the first card. Meadow, fertility. Yeah, it's uh, they're quite glossy. Quite, th quite thick, in a sense, as well. I think one of the thick, the th one of the thicker decks that I have. Fog failed. A lot of these give the word to explain the meaning, but to yeah, have a look at the book to see what else it can correspond with. But summer sol solstice radiance. Gaia Nurturing. I 
lightning power. Yeah, there's a lot of power in that sea as well, and there are trees on this side blown in a in the storm. A lot of power in that card. Stone people vigilance. Yeah, you find quite a number of uh, the rock formations poking out of the sea. They're named after people like um, the two sisters or the old man and things like that. Music, harmony. You've got the little doves there as well. One under my finger. There we are. Iceberg submerged. Fairies, earth magic. I like how she looks very ethereal. Sort of stardust coming down. DNA karma. It's almost like the caduceus in a sense. Dawn, new beginning, new beginnings, sorry. New moon, promise. I've seen a number, number of people on Instagram that seem to quite like this deck. I know it's quite an old deck. But uh, still seems to uh, have a bit of a a bit of a following, a bit of a I say, I say a cult following, or an an occult following. Waterfall, effortless. I think they've used several different artists on this deck. Like the, I like that there's so much sort of uh, diversity in the styles and I found this to be quite a sort of a good ubiquitous deck for just getting out and asking any sort of question I don't know I just find it quite a soothing deck I move. Uh, I think it was while using this deck that uh, I met some fair, or I say met some fairies. I think I think I think it was while using this deck that some fairies came to see what I was peer over my shoulder to see what I was doing. You can sort of feel the presence behind you, a little fluttering about and things like that. Yes, I'm one of those people that uh, likes fairies. <laughs> That's away with the fairies. Yes. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, we got Milky Way perspective. My mum said that to me, you don't want people thinking you're away with the fairies. And it's a... Uh, it sort of didn't really sort of want to tell her that in a case of sort of am. <laughs> in a certain way I sort of am and it's like... Uh, yeah, there's anthropo anthropological evidence for them in several different cultures. And I'm sure I've witnessed them in some way or another. I'll have to tell you about the time I, I, I saw a goblin at some point, but that's a that's a video for another time. There we are. Dragonfly emergence. And it's a good selection of artwork. 
with this stack. Childhood innocence. Looking up at the rail light. Lotus flower unfolding. Rainbow blessings. Yeah, it's yeah. I just look, I really like the coloration on a lot of these cards. Lake stillness. Yeah, this is quite a genuine smile. It's just, I can feel a sort of a sense of wonder come over me again. Here we go. And that's the one that's uh, used on the back. And you can sort of see the above below, as above so below. Here we are. Desert Vision Quest. Eagle Communion. River mo movement. To be honest, this is yeah, this is one of my favourite decks. The sort of the fairy lights coming out of out of the cave as well. Wind activation. Wolf instinct. Cave sanctuary. Winter solstice. Yeah, we've had the summer solstice card. moon and this one is a bit of a bit a bit strange because uh, I'm actually filming this two days after uh, the autumn autumn equinox there we go Mountain strength. And next we have Spring Equinox Rebirth. And that's the illustration that's used on the cover of the uh, as the box art. I say on the cover of the deck <laughs> as, as part of the box art. There we are. Ocean, ebb and flow. There we go, the last card. Shaman. There we are. There we are. And that's the end of that. That's one of my favourite decks. And as always, I'll endeavour to put a link to the deck in the description below, should you ever want to purchase a copy of it yourself, or look into it a bit further. Uh, I've actually really enjoyed uh, that look through it. Some I can I can feel feel the wave of freshness go, go through my soul and yeah. <laughs>
So uh, I'll bid everyone good night and a farewell. I hope you all have good health. Bye-bye.